What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom, and uh, I know, I know, I know. I said I was gonna be back and doing more videos, but unfortunately, uh, my mom actually took a turn for the worse. So she actually had a heart attack, and I've been uh, in intensive care with her for the past week. Uh, so. I appreciate everybody's well wishes and thank you so much for uh, your various support and prayers and kind words so thank you again um, but I did find that I do find a little bit more I guess uh, happiness by doing these videos so here goes uh, the newest video and that's for the US release Q case um, and I hope you like what you see I'm gonna keep trying to do more videos uh, just because I want to get my head out of out of the funk that I've been in um, with all the bad stuff that's been going on with me. Um, it's awesome to talk to many of you guys with your various support and it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Um, and enough of that. Enough of the bad stuff. Let's go ahead with the good stuff. Um, and this is what we have. Let's see. So first off the bat we have the uh, power panel in purple. Um, I believe this is a new colorway for uh, uh, the Q case. We had two of those so far. Uh, we have a new colorway for the Ford Torino Tal Tal uh, Talladega, and it's the '69 Ford Talladega in a flat, kind of like a burnt gold. Um, it's cool. It's got like dark uh, chrome grill and uh, yeah and they've changed the guaranteed for life just so you know it says guaranteed for life but it's no longer a badge it's actually just print um, and this is new for the Q case so this is also new I guess uh, there's a new game you can play race your cars through an interactive world with Hot Wheels PowerPort app uh, I'm gonna give this a try and I'll do a review and let you know how it goes so that being said, next up we got. Okay, we got the horseplay, which I'm not really a fan of, as you guys know. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the track cars or anything. We have a sand stinger. This is also part. Of, these are all looking like Q cases, thankfully. So hopefully we don't get too many P or uh, M and N case repeats. There's another so fine, and this is also a Q case. I believe this is a new colorway. And it's, it's metallic, kind of an olive drab. Uh, sadly, no tail lights, as you can see. But we do have that great grill. Um, <coughs> Next up, we have the drift rod, new for 2013. Also part of the Q case, and not a fan. But hey, uh, I know you, uh, you collectors of these. Uh, Plastic body cars will like that. Uh, twin induction, this time in a silver uh, Q case. So this is, I believe, a new colorway. Silver with green tampos. Uh, pretty cool. Um, if you're into the twin induction, uh, we have the 76 Greenwood Corvette. This is actually a very cool uh, casting. As you can see, the uh, body of the Corvette is actually kind of a hourglass shape has the plastic, clear plastic um, headlights. Sorry about the uh, focusing. And uh, yeah, we have that amazing rear end. Um, no tail lights, but that's okay. So, very cool car. Uh, let's see, yeah. I only got one of those, which stinks, but that's all right. We have the uh, the Huera hu 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 Huera Huera <laughs> uh, two new f new colorway for 2013 part of the Q case and it's silver instead of uh, magenta. This actually has tail lights, I think. Not really. Um, they might be those European silver tail lights, but very cool car. Then we have the Volkswagen Beetle convertible with the graffiti uh, part of the graffiti rides series this new colorway for Q case so far Q case is looking pretty good <clears throat> now we have a croc rod <laughs> um, it's kind of cool but again I'm not into fantasy cars so uh, time tracker 
new for 2013. I believe we already saw this, but if not, if this is a new one, this is a new one we haven't seen yet. Um, you guys are sure will let me know. This is another Talladega we just saw. Uh, we have another Grand Sport. I believe this was in last uh, the P case. Now we have another Talladega, which you've already seen. Um, three brand new for 2013 Chevy C10s, and these are 67 Chev Chevy C10 with a uh, cowled hood. Um, very, very cool. I know uh, Mr. Dave, Mr. Dizave 380 is going to really love this truck, so uh, keep your eyes open. We have a chicane in gold chrome. Um, Alright. We have the Dodge Demon, 71 Dodge Demon. I believe this is new. A uh, new casting for, not new casting, but uh, new color and uh, inter putting this back in for 2013 in the Q case. I haven't seen this, I don't think, uh, for 2013 yet. So you got two of those. We got a Speed Dozer, which is uh, new for 2013. It's kind of cool, actually. Got these massive rear wheels. Which I know a lot of you guys are going to be going nuts for customizing and stuff. So, and then it has these crazy uh, exhaust and blower pipes or whatever, and it has flames up on top. Um, if you can see that. So, anyways, there you go. No tail lights, but it does have a parachute pack, which makes no sense to me. But. All right. Now we have the Boulevard Bruiser in the Hot Wheels uh, racing uh, colors. Very cool. I know Susan. Um, I know you'll probably be really, really, really into uh, into this car. I'm, I'm actually really into this too. Again, has the return of the wheel in the in the trunk. We have the new Cloud Cutter for 2013. Not a fan, but some of you guys will be. And a very cool um, skate punk. I don't believe this is new for 2013, but it is very cool. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I don't really know what it's going to do, but neat little car to have. Another Boulevard Bruiser. Now we have uh, two 92 Ford Mustangs in uh, green. Now, I think there's an error um, out there. I'm not sure of that, but this is, I guess, supposed to be a Super. And the Super, they were noticing a lot, some of the Supers had um, errors where they were giving Super Tampos, but they weren't Supers So on the card, and the cars were just regular cars. I don't know. Uh, something else to see for a quick error. It's not really an error because it's just an oversight by Hot Wheels, but if you see that corner light is actually painted amber if you see in the card it's a clear so it's a clear setup so kind of like a not an error but a screw up on Hot Wheels part we have uh, two dune it ups and a burnt crimson flat mat and then we have a bad to the blade uh, cars that I'm not really into gosh why do we get so many of these things three hammer downs not a fan but what are you gonna do let's go to the second level we have a turquoise 11 2011 Corvette Grand Sport part of the 60th I think oh no, part of the Nightburner series pretty cool um, here we have the RD RDO five. Um, I don't know. I this is this could be kind of cool if you did it up all like better colors instead of the atrocious colors that they give you. Another Grand Sport Corvette. Um, we have a Mad Props. I think we've already seen this in this color in the P case. Sorry, my memory's kind of gone. I'm old. <laughs> Um, here's an Evora GT4, Lotus, black. Two riveted Supercroms, I believe. 
Uh, yep, super chrome. So I actually kind of like this casting because it reminds me of uh, the Mel Gibson Mad Max uh, Interceptor. It, it, it's not, but it kind of reminds me of that. So it is kind of cool. If it was a metal body, which I don't know if it is, um, I'd love to get this without any tampos on it. Just and like regular color windows, but and maybe some tail lights. But I kind of like this car. Not 100%. Will I buy it on the pegs? No. Um, here we have a rescue duty in white, plastic body, and metal base. Um, more plastic bodies and metal bases. Here's the MIG rig. Speaking of which, great design, horrible execution with the plastic body. I wish this was a full metal. Um, another Mad Props, another Grand Sport that makes three or two, uh, NSX Concept car, so they actually, <laughs> I don't know if you could see it, but they actually, I believe, painted taillights on there, or maybe it's just a shift in that thing, but very, very, very fine details. Uh, this one is actually off-centered with the logo, so this is an error. Um, that one's pretty dead on, so, okay, let's see, more crap, let's see what we got, and when I say crap, I mean cars like Bad Ratitude, plastic body, metal base, not a fan, we have the Swamp Buggy, um, in the past I did a quickie car review of this because the colors were so cool, this, not so cool, they kind of muted everything and made it kind of blah. So there you go. We have the black 70 Chevelle SS with the Gulf, or no, with the Edelbrock Tampos. This thing is awesome and is new for 2013. Very, very cool. I love that car. Uh, then we have the Fig Rig, but this time in yellow instead of red, I believe. And as you may recall, this is uh, the Hot Wheels where you can actually put Lego minifigures onto. Um, so check out my quickie car review for the fig rig. Um, search quickie car review fig rig and you'll see uh, what I did with these minifigures on the car. Gives you kind of like a little tutorial or a, or a show how. So, and now we have the 69 Ford Mustang. This is very cool. I want to say this is the first time for 2013 I'm seeing this. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but for me, if I recall, this is the first time I'm seeing it for the 2013 line. Um, has two woofers in the back. Uh, great color. Great tampos. May, uh, they're basic and, and not too crazy out there. It has uh, some very fine line pinstriping that matches the interior, the gold interior. I wish they would have given it taillights, but what are you going to do? Look for my quickie car review of that. Uh, we have the Baja truck in red. Um, that's cool. We have the two. We have two Porsche 911 GTR threes. GT3 RS. Sorry. Ugh, long day. We have another, uh, or no, a new for 2013 Ducati uh, Diavel. This is actually very cool. Um, I can't tell you if the wheel wobbles in the back. Um, we have another Ford, 2007 Ford Mustangs. Uh, this one has a tempo error, as you can see. It's supposed to be like that, but it's like that, so. And then down there, the tempo's kind of jacked up, so. Not a big deal, it's just a quality control issue, not a real real true air like small wheels or whatnot so we have the loop coupe and that's uh new for 2013 kind of cool um i might do a quick car review on that 69 dodge cornet super v's two we have the volkswagen beetle again in convertible that you've already seen and the last three um, HW Pursuit, but this time in a baby blue with a dark blue uh, contrast. And a 86, an 86 Monte Carlo Chev, 
uh, Chevrolet SS. All right. So, and this is actually from the P case, as you can see. So, they did stick us with some P case cars. Uh, but for the most part, this is our Q case, our Q case labeled. So, hope you like what you saw. Thanks again, everybody, for all your support and your well wishes. Um, I, my mom has, is doing a little bit better, but she's still in intensive care. So, thank you again for all the well wishes and, and, and for everybody's kindness. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and please, Forward this video to your collective friends or post it any way you can to spread the word about the new Q case that's coming out. Um, thanks again for watching. Leave any questions and comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye bye.